an incredible number of discoveries have been made in recent years, from archaeological finds to science-defying biology. There are so many thrilling discoveries taking place in each field of the world. Science covers so many areas, and with such a huge scope of research opportunities available, it's no surprise of the wonders that we find. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three interesting scientific discoveries. Scientists discover hidden temple in a buried Roman city using ground-penetrating radar. A great amount of our human history gets tucked away and sits unnoticed for centuries. It's an exciting feat to learn and uncover more and more, but the sad truth is that there are many things that we just might never track down. Recently, we took a step in the right direction. A temple that had been concealed by time was discovered in an ancient Roman city. The temple once stood in the city of Faleri Novi. The temple is largely underground still. Archaeologists managed to map the town out in an impressive and truly tremendous amount of detail. They used GPR or ground-penetrating radar to uncover structures that had not been known of before now in the city. They uncovered plenty, revealing to us a temple and a bathing complex we had been oblivious to prior to this. Faleri Novi was founded in 242 BC and can be found approximately 31 miles north of Rome. This small city rests in what is now a rural area, free of modern buildings, preserving it in time. So far, the city has been partially excavated, with this new GPR map showing high-resolution scans that can provide a great detail of valuable data without the immediate need for an excavation. The GPR mapping has shown some of the construction processes as well as the impact of evolution and time in the preservation and in the development of materials and methods. Co-author of the study, Martin Millett, is a professor of classical archaeology at the University of Cambridge in the UK. He explained in an interview with Live Science that the ground-penetrating radar technique is revolutionary, meaning that research teams do not have to focus on minor details while trying to gather a big picture, but that they can now look at entire towns forming a comprehensive idea of a city, a place or a culture without being limited to largely excavated areas to do so, such as Pompeii. Archaeologists began excavation at the site back in the 19th century, with it not being identified as Faleri Novi until later on. This identification was only made possible by the number of historical records found that described the Roman city. It was then in the late 1990s that the research into this site took another step further, with researchers carrying out magnetic surveys. This measured the patterns in soil magnetism to visualize buried structures. At the time, this technique was a good option, though the low resolution resulted in a fuzzy picture not clear enough to make distinct decisions and conclusions. This new study has a far higher resolution, penetrating the ground to map this out. Not only was a temple uncovered, but researchers revealed a bizarre water supply system made up of crossing pipes that did not run parallel to the city, an unusual quirk. The team have suggested that this might imply that the pipes were laid before the buildings, giving us a glimpse into the Roman construction processes. The development of our skills and technology is truly fascinating, that with the advancement of the available equipment, taking another look just a few decades later can reveal a whole new host of information. Scientists discover an ancient reservoir of water under the Antarctic ice. Antarctica is a place where, as we are becoming increasingly more equipped to tackle its tough conditions and increasingly better at remote research, we are rapidly finding out more and more about. Now, a huge reservoir seems to have been mapped out for the first time underneath the Antarctic ice sheet. The team believe that the reservoir is more than a kilometre deep and has the incredible potential to impact how the Antarctic ice sheet will react to and withhold against climate change, including how it will affect the sea level. Mapping this is the first time we have gained evidence of the reservoir, although scientists have long suspected that it has been there. Until now, no one had been able to verify whether these hunches were accurate. 
This discovery employed a geophysical survey to use magnetotellurics imaging to record and discover the subglacial water beneath an ice stream. These ice streams, or subglacial hydraulic systems, are essentially networks of plumbing that can be found underneath glaciers. These are incredibly important features of Antarctica, funneling 90% of the interior ice out to the margins. Chloe Gustafsson, a postdoctoral researcher at UC San Diego's Scripps Institution of Oceanography, explained that the ice streams act as a lubricant where the ice shelf meets the bedrock. This has the potential to impact the movement of ice and sediment deformation, two processes that are vital to how frozen climates and land can worsen the rising sea levels. This study was the first to ever make an observation of a sub-ice groundwater system, an achievement made possible thanks to the MT imaging that revealed a mix of fossil seawater and freshwater lurking beneath the ice sheet. This technique, and the confirmation that this reservoir is indeed there, is truly monumental and an incredibly significant discovery that will help to push forth our knowledge of both Antarctica and of how we can expect patterns to change regarding rising sea levels. Scientists bring eyes back to life There are an infinite number of ways to live your life, from different occupations to different hobbies, from different cultures to different goals. It's fair to go as far as to suggest that no person will ever experience life the same way you have. It's simply not possible. We do have one uniting experience as a species, in fact, as living beings altogether, and that is when our life comes to an end. However, scientists could be on their way to removing this uniting factor, as scientists think that they could have reversed the end of life by bringing eyes back to life. Organ donation is a truly important process, helping us to make advancements like this one and save thousands of lives. Scientists had observed eyes from organ donors continuing to respond to light even five hours after the death of the donor. One of the authors of the study commented, it raises the question of whether brain dead, as it is currently defined, is truly irreversible. We currently consider this to be when someone is unable to survive without life support, meaning that all of the functions of their brain have stopped and, as far as our modern knowledge can understand, there is no chance of revival. Due to this irreversible nature, once someone has been declared brain dead, they are considered to have passed on and are declared as such. The method the team used to conduct these observations can be applied to tissues in the central nervous system, such as the spine or the brain, allowing for more developments and further conclusions to be drawn. The lead author of the study, Dr. Fatima Abbas, of the Moran Eye Center at the University of Utah, said, We were able to wake up photoreceptor cells in the human macula, which is the part of the retina responsible for our central vision and our ability to see in fine detail and color. They continued explaining that the eyes were able to respond to various light stimuli up to five hours after the initial patient's death. The eyes reacting to bright light, colored lights, and dim flashes of light. One of the elements of being deceased is the loss of neural activity, though one branch of science, one that is considered to be highly controversial, has begun to look at how to reverse the neural activity, hypothetically pushing life into the organs that have seemingly ended. A study published in the scientific journal Nature in 2019 looked at bringing life back to the brains of deceased pigs. This Yale-based research team found that they managed to reinstate the blood circulation of the large organs four hours after the pigs had died. The difference between this study conducted at the University of Utah and the Yale study using pigs is that the new Utah study has managed to successfully create a connection and form communication between the neurons. This study has huge potential for scientific advancement, not only in the ability to possibly reverse the end of someone's life, but in understanding and studying human vision in a manner we simply cannot replicate through lab animals, and in increasing our understanding of the role and function of different parts of our brain, both in life and in death. While it's a baffling concept to imagine that when a loved one's time has come, you could simply bring them back, this technology and scientific capability could be within human reach in the not-too-distant future. What do you think? Should humans be able to manipulate life like this? 
The scientific world is always continuously developing with one discovery after the next. We can only wonder what will be uncovered next. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.